Welcome back, everybody. Warm weather is holding on, but that doesn't mean that the cold and flu symptoms are staying away. What we need to know is what we are up against. And Natalia Cropper is here from the Little Clinic. It's time to get your flu shot, everybody. I know a lot of friends have already done that. Mm -hmm. So is it too early to do that right now? It's really not. Okay. Yeah. Um, at this time of the year, we do recommend getting the flu shot, especially because the flu is already out there and it's not too late to get it. It will last through the whole flu season. Well, that was my question. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people want to wait because they think if I do it now, will it be effective in February? It will, yes. Okay. Yeah, and flu season typically peaks December through January, so and it takes two weeks to become effective. So getting it now will get you ready for you know flu season. I don't think that I realized it took that long for it to actually be yeah. effective. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's talk about how to avoid yes. what's happening out there. A lot of people are already starting to get a little bit of a cold. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might develop into a flu or if they've got flu already. What do we need to know, do to make sure that we stay flu free? Yeah, so the flu is a viral illness um, and it's similar to colds. They have similar symptoms, but the flu typically comes on faster um, and has more severe symptoms. Um, and it can actually spread one day before symptoms occur and up to a week after. So um, coming into the little clinic, we diagnose and treat the flu mm -hmm. and we can prescribe medications to help treat symptoms. And in some cases, antiviral medications, which can decrease the severity of the symptoms and how long you're sick. And then there's over-the-counter medications that you you can take. Absolutely. Tell us about some of the stuff that you brought. I know yeah. obviously we need to make sure hygiene is of utmost Absolutely. importance. Hand hygiene is key. It's hand sanitizer or soap and water and the flu and colds are spread by coughing and sneezing. These particles land on surfaces so using a disinfectant. Um, but if you do develop the flu or colds using over-the-counter medicines like an analgesic like acetaminophen or ibuprofen, a good cough syrup which is usually safe for people four years of age and up or a nasal saline spray to help moisturize those nasal passageways and help with the irritation. Yeah, I think that's the one people don't really think about, mm -hmm. you know, they start to have that nose and throat in the drip and it's really starting to irritate them but they forget about the Exactly. Okay, you got to go get that flu shot everybody. The Little Clinic has them. They're open seven days a week inside select Kroger stores in Middle Tennessee. They can also diagnose and treat minor illnesses so you're not feeling great. Stop by and see them. You can go to thelittleclinic.com for more more information. Thank you so much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I would shake your hand, but I haven't washed mine, so we'll just do the elbow bump. <laughs>